Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss this lab activity, viewing the switch makers table. Before coming to this lab activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time, or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Right, coming back to our lab activity. Here we can see the topology with the two switches and two PCs. We will design this topology into this Cisco packet tracer. Also here we can see the addressing table. Here we will go through these objectives. In part 1, build and configure the network. In part 2, examine the switch MAC address table. Also we will go through the scenario given here. The purpose of a layer 2 LAN switch is to deliver Ethernet frames to host devices on the local network. The switch records host MAC addresses that are visible on the network and maps those MAC addresses to its own Ethernet switch ports. This process is called building the MAC address table. When a switch receives a frame from a PC, it examines the frame's source and destination MAC addresses. The source MAC address is recorded and mapped to the switch port from which it arrived. Then the destination MAC address is looked up in the MAC address table. If the destination MAC address is a known address, then the frame is forwarded out of the corresponding switch port associated with that MAC address. If the MAC address is unknown, then the frame is broadcasted out of all switch ports, except the one from which it came. It is important to observe and understand the function of a switch and how it delivers data on the network. The way a switch operates has Implications for network administrators whose job it is to ensure secure and consistent network communication. Yes, it's correct. Switches are used to interconnect and deliver information to computers on local area networks. Switches deliver Ethernet frames to host devices identified by network interface CAD MAC addresses. In part 1, we will build a multi-switch topology with a trunk linking the two switches. In part 2, we will ping various devices and observe how the two switches build their MAC address tables. We will go through the node given here. The switches used are a Cisco Catalyst 2960s with the Cisco IOS release 15.0. Other switches and Cisco IOS version can be used depending on the model and Cisco IOS version, the commands available and output produced might vary from what is shown in the labs. Okay, right. So make sure that the switches have been erased and have no startup configurations. If you are unsure, contact your instructor. Okay, anyway, so for this lab activity, we are using a Cisco Packet Tracer. Here we can see the required resources. We have to use two switches, Cisco 2960 series and we required two PCs. Also console cables to configure the Cisco IOS device via the console ports. Anyway, we are using uh, simulation. Uh, Ethernet cables as shown in the topology. Again, a note here. The first Ethernet interfaces on Cisco 2960 switches are auto sensing and an Ethernet straight through cable may be used between switches S1 and S2. If using another model Cisco switch, it may be necessary to use an Ethernet crossover cable. Yes, so even we can use Ethernet straight through cable uh, that is called MDIX. Anyways, uh, we will uh, design this uh, topology in our Cisco packet tracer. Okay, we will uh, get two switches, 2960 series. This is S1 and here is S2. Now we will have two PCs. This is a PC hyphen A and here is a PC hyphen B. Coming to the connectivity, copper straight through from S1 FA0 slash 6 to this PC hyphen A from S2 FA0 slash 18 
2 PC hyphen B. Now we will select copper crossover to connect this S1 and S2 from FA0 slash 1 to FA0 slash 1 on S2. Okay, right, it's ready. Coming to the documentation. In part 1, build and configure the network. Step 1, cable the network according to the topology. We done that. Coming to step 2, configure a PC house. So here we can see uh, our addressing table. Now we will configure this PC hyphen A and the PC hyphen B. Coming to our addressing table, here we can see uh, the IP address of PC hyphen A. We will copy this address. And here we can see uh, the IP address of PC hyphen B. It's 1.2. And here we can see something to mask. The default is something to mask. Okay. So we'll go to PC hyphen A. Now we will go to desktop IP configuration. And uh, here is the IP address. And the submit to mask. Now we will go to PC hyphen B. Desktop IP configuration. IP address is 1.2. We can verify it here. Correct. And the submit to mask. Coming to the next step. Uh, step 3. Initialize and reload as switches as necessary. Okay. Coming to step 4. Configure basic settings for each switch. So configure device name as shown in the topology. Configure IP address as listed in addressing table. Assign Cisco as the console and the VTY passwords. Assign class as the privileged exit passwords. Okay. We can do that. First of all, we will do it on the switch S1. CLI. Enable configure terminal. We will set the host name as S1. Now we will get the IP address of uh, the switch S1. For the interface VLAN 1. Here we can see that. We will copy this address. It's 192.168.1.11. And here we can see the default something to mask. Coming to S1. We will go to the interface VLAN 1 and we will set the IP address. It's here and the mask 255.255.255.0 and we will give no short command. Now we will set uh, line passwords. We will exit and we will go to line console 0 and we will set the password as Cisco. Login, exit and we'll go to line VTY 0215. We will set for all the lines. Password Cisco. Also, we will enable secret as class. Copy running config startup config. Now we will do the basic configuration on the switch S2. Coming to S2, CLI, enable, configure, terminal, we will set the host name as S2. Coming to our addressing table, device S2 for the interface VLAN 1, we have to set this IP address 192.168.1.12. We will go to the interface VLAN 1, IP address, it's here, then the submit to mask. Now we will give an shutdown command. Now we will set line passwords. Exit, we will go to line console 0, password as Cisco, login. Also, we will go to line VTY uh, 0 to 15. That means all the lines. We will set the password as Cisco. We will exit and we will set 
enable secret as class copy running config startup config now we will go to the next step coming to part 2 examine the switch MAC address table a switch learns MAC addresses and builds the MAC address table as network devices initiate communication on the network. Coming to step 1, record network device MAC addresses. Open a command prompt on PC-A and PC-B and type IP config space forward slash all. What are the Ethernet adapter physical addresses? So here we have to give a PC-A MAC addresses and a PC-B MAC address. That can be done. Okay, so first of all, we'll go to PC-A desktop command prompt. Here we can give IP config all. And here we can see fast third zero connection, default port. Also, we can see Bluetooth connection right so here we can see a physical address so we will copy this uh, MAC address and we'll paste it here now we will go to PC hyphen B desktop command prompt IP config all and here we can see physical address we will copy this address now we will go to B console into switch S1 and S2 and type the show interface fast third zero slash one command on each switch on the second line of command output what is the hardware addresses or burned in address Okay, we'll verify that. First of all, we will do it on the Suchi S1. CLI. Okay, Control Shift 6. Here we can give show interface faster third zero slash one. And here we can see address is we will uh, copy this address and we will paste it here now we will go to yes to CLI show interfaces uh, faster third zero slash one And here we can see MAC address. We'll copy this address. Now we will come to uh, step 2. Display the switch MAC address table. Console into switch S2 and view the MAC address table. Both before and after running network communication test with ping. Establish a console connection to S2 and enter privileged exit mode. In privileged exit mode, type the show MAC address table command and press enter. We have to enter this show command, show MAC space address hyphen table. Even though there has been no network communication initiated across the network, that is no use of ping. It is possible that the switch has learned MAC addresses from its connection to the PC and the other switch. Are there any MAC addresses recorded in the MAC address table? We will verify that using this show command. So we will go to uh, yes to CLI show mac hyphen no it's a mac space address table okay 
and here we can see it's updated. Here we can see some MAC addresses are recorded. So uh, here our answer is yes. We will see what is next. What MAC addresses are recorded in the table? To which switch ports are they mapped? And to which devices uh, do they belong? Ignore MAC addresses that are mapped to the CPU. Right, we will come back to our uh, switch AS2 and uh, here we can see the details. Uh, to MAC address. 0050 0F just we will uh, verify with our previous uh, recording. We cannot see 0050 anywhere and here we can see the second MAC address uh, 0090. Okay, here we can see that double E zero one. Okay, it's here. S one fast third zero slash one MAC address. So this MAC address entry they are in this uh, MAC address uh, table, and here we can see a uh, port FA zero slash one. Uh, this is the port in this uh, switch S two FA zero slash one. Right. Next is if you had not previously recorded MAC addresses of network device in step 1, how could you tell which devices the MAC addresses belongs to? Using only the output from the show MAC address table command? Does it work in all scenarios? Yeah, here we can go to that specific device and we can verify. Uh, the MAC address. Now we will come to step 3. Clear the S2 MAC address table and display the MAC address table again. In privileged exit mode, type the clear MAC address table dynamic command and press enter. Clear MAC space address hyphen table dynamic. And then quickly type the show MAC address table command again. Does the MAC address table have any addresses in it for VLAN 1? Are there other MAC addresses listed? Okay, we will verify that. Again, we will go to S2. Password is Cisco. Enable. Password is class. Here we are going to give a clear MAC address table dynamic and now we will give a show a MAC address table and here we can see a one entry previously we have seen a two entry now here we can see uh, only one entry now wait 10 seconds type the show MAC address table command again and press enter. Are there new addresses in the MAC address table? We will verify that. Coming back to our S2. Cisco enable password is class. Show MAC address table. And still here we can see only uh, uh, one entry. Okay, right. Now we will go to step 4. From PC hyphen B, ping the devices on the network and observe the switch MAC address table. From PC hyphen B, open a command prompt and type ARP dash A. Not including multicast or broadcast address, how many device IP to MAC address pairs have been lent by ARP? Okay, we will verify that. We will go to PC hyphen B, desktop command prompt, and uh, here we will give ARP dash A. And here we can see no ARP entries found. Right. Now we will come to B from the PC hyphen B command prompt ping PC hyphen A, S1 and S2. Did all devices have successful replies? 
if not check your cabling and IP configurations okay we will check that we will go to PC hyphen B desktop command prompt first of all we will ping to PC hyphen A you will get the IP address it's here ping to PC hyphen A it's working now we will ping to the switches I think it's a 10 and 11 no it's 11 and 12 ok 11 we are waiting for the replies it's working now we will ping to 12 it's working now coming to C from my console connection to S2 enter the show MAC address table command has the switch added additional MAC addresses to the MAC address table if so which addresses and devices ok we will verify that we will go to S2 and here we will give a show MAC address table and here we can see uh, the entries we will come to our uh, MAC address details ok and here we can see here we can see the second MAC address 00603W7ED64 this is the MAC address of our PC hyphen A here we can see that and it's uh, port fa0 slash 1 uh, in S2 uh, here we can see 00900CA298D9 and here we can see the port FA0 slash 18 then here we can see 00902107EE01 ok here we can see that S1 fast third 0 slash 1 MAC address yes these are the entries so here in this s2 now from pc hyphen b open a command prompt and uh, retype arp space dash a does the pc hyphen b arp cache have additional entries for all network devices that were sent ping okay we will verify that we will go to pc hyphen b desktop command prompt here again we are going to uh, retype this command arp space dash a and here we can see the entries address here we can see physical address and its type we ping to all these devices I mean we ping to uh, all these uh, IP addresses okay right so uh, friends uh, that's all in this uh, lab activity uh, that is viewing the switch mac address uh, table dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions uh, please comment below and if you like our videos give a thumb and share with all your friends subscribe stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you